Principal machine designer Blake Poltiski has said that all new machines in Horizon Forbidden West are more mobile in almost every way you can imagine, from jumping to swimming, as well as clinging to different types of surfaces. In fact, we'll need to study each machine closely to actually find out ways to approach them and defeat them. And this is what this video is going to be all about. So in the next five minutes, I'm going to take you through 10 brand new machines and what we know so far about them. So let's first start with the Claw Strider. Now, these Claw Striders are mechanical velociraptors that hunt in packs. They emit a debilitating sonic scream that temporarily stuns Aloy and can also be overridden to be used as mounts. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of these as they're very aggressive, highly agile and they're a big part of Regala's rebel Tinak tribe. But I gotta say they do look fantastic and I can't wait to use one as a mount. Next up and we've got the Clamber Jaws who are baboon like machines in appearance and movement. They're incredibly acrobatic and aggressive and they do hunt in packs as well so I can't imagine us having a one on one fight here. I think it's going to either be several at once or nothing at all but but incidentally, two interesting mechanics in these bad boys. They throw fire bombs at range for one. And secondly, they also have this mechanical mask component on its face. And I reckon a very well-timed arrow there is going to cause serious damage and make the whole fight a lot easier for us. But speaking of serious damage, let's talk about the rollerbacks because they're going to be causing us a lot of problems. They're designed to be giant armadillos, essentially, and they fold themselves into these spinning balls of death, which, as you can see here, looks like absolute pandemonium. Interestingly, when they do roll, they leave a trail of fire in their wake and according to Gorilla they can eject their own scales to use as aerial projectiles essentially to then magnetically record them after they've done damage so without a shadow of doubt I think the weak spot is going to be their underbellies if we actually get a chance to shoot it. Now sticking on strong armoured shells just a little bit longer we've got ourselves a shell snapper here who's a giant turtle like machine with pressurised water blast essentially a next generation blast toys and they guard the shores and swamps of the Forbidden West and are known to lie dormant in front of cauldrons according to the comics. Additionally, its shell absorbs attacks and converts it to energy, which it then releases in a big AoE blast, stunning everybody in the vicinity. Gorilla have also said that we'll need to be creative to kill this beast, but I reckon a solid shot underneath its shell when it leaps up in the air isn't a bad shout. Now let's talk about some aerial machines, and the new standout here is the pterodactyl based Sunwing that charges itself via solar panels on its wings, which generates enough power for it to fly. Now being an airborne machine is of course an advantage, but they are vulnerable when they're on the ground, gathering gathering solar power from the sun and I think stealth kills are going to work well here and I'm not 100% sure if they are susceptible to fire like the glint hawks were in Zero Dawn but I wouldn't be surprised if they indeed are. Now let's have a chin wag about the bristleback. It's built in the image of a large warthog and it's designed to be peaceful in nature using their tusks to unearth buried resources in the ground. Of course our attention needs to be directed towards the acidic canisters on its rear for that big boy damage as you can see here but we'll need to watch out for their AoE poison cloud effect as well which hasn't been shown yet but according to Gorilla saps our life and energy quickly if we're caught within it. Now if you played Zero Dawn you'll be very familiar with the Watchers while Gorilla describes these new burrowers as their successor here in Forbidden West. They're based on an otter or a weasel that can attack on land or in water and they use a high pitched sound to stun Aloy similar to the Claw Striders. They can of course bury themselves into the ground to stay hidden and blindside us from any direction where they decide to pop out but good to know their weak spot is a small component on the rear and expect to see a lot of these in the game. But while we're on the topic of aquatic based machines the Tide Ripper is the big hitter in that department. It looks like the Loch Ness monster based on the plesiosaur and they're aggressive in the water and on land. Now this machine accumulates resources by filtering through the sediment in the water and it's another one that Gorilla have teased but they've kept a lot of details quite close to their chest so expect a tough fight with these mechanical Nessies along the coasts. Now let's talk about the Tremor Tusk or the Mumma Kill I like to call it from Lord of the Rings and they are based on mammoths. They can be found in the wild and also outfitted by Regala's tribes with cannons and armor plating. It can also use its trunk as a flamethrower and after a certain amount of damage it will stand up showing its belly as kind of a weak spot so shaking humans off it in the process. Again more Lord of the Rings vibes. I love it and I genuinely cannot wait to get stuck into this machine. Now tremor tusks aside I think arguably the most exciting machine coming up is the Slitherfang. It's a gigantic snake-like machine that spits out poisonous venom and has a lightning tail as well as the ability to actually dig underground and leap out unexpectedly. It's all here in this machine and the animations look absolutely marvellous. Now according to Gorilla you can also shoot off its rattle tail to then use against it as a weapon which is a similar mechanic that we've seen before and sounds like great fun. And by the way if you have like this quick no-nonsense breakdown do check out a few more Horizon videos I'll be popping up on your screen right now. Also big thanks to all the Reloads researchers for helping me make this video. You're all fantastic. Looking forward to more and to you cheers for watching. Coffee is of course on me.